In this video, I want to talk about the graphical representations of velocity and position, how they relate to each other. Uh, I'm going to give myself a pretty simple example of a position function here, x of t, and I'm, my position meters, and time is in seconds, and I'm going to call this 2 minus t. And so let me give a graphical representation of that. At 0, it's equal to 2. And then at uh, 1, it's one second, it's equal to 1. 2, it's equal to 0. And then at t is equal to 3, it looks like it's negative 1. I've got a, a straight line here. So there's my position function of time. So let me differentiate this function. And I get the velocity as a function of time. It's the time derivative of the position function of time. The derivative then is negative 1 meters per second. It does not, in fact, depend on time. The velocity as a function of time is constant. So if I were to plot that, it would be a straight line at negative 1. It's constant. As time goes along, the velocity doesn't uh, change. It's a vector, so it has a magnitude of 1, and it points in the negative x direction. Remember the relationship between the derivative of a function and its and the function is that it gives you the slope of the tangent line at that point. Well, if I have a, a line here, the slope is the same everywhere. The slope of this function is in fact negative 1, which is the velocity function. Let's go ahead and do a second example. I'll call this 2t t, and it's supposed to be a t, not a plus, 2t minus t squared. I've seen this function before. I, I know that this achieves a max. It's a parabola. It starts at 0. It has a maximum at 1, goes back through 0, and at t is equal to 3, it, it goes down to negative 3. If I graph that function, it's a parabola that looks something like that. What can I say about the slope of the tangent line of this function at various times? At uh, t is equal to 0, where the position is equal to 0, there, there's a slope to the function at this point, and it's, a, it, it's positive. If I go to t is equal to 1, that's the maximum. We see that the slope is negative at that point. At t is equal to 2, the slope of the tangent line at that point on the function is negative. At 3, I also have a negative slope that's even steeper than it was before. I, this is telling me that my velocity, which is going to, is a function that's telling me the slopes of these tangent lines, is going to be changing as a function of time as well. Well, I can go ahead and calculate that because the velocity is the time derivative of the position function, which is 2 minus 2t. So I can go ahead and plot that at t is equal to 0, this is uh, 2. At t is equal to 1, this is 0. At t is equal to uh, 2, this is negative 2. And at 3, it's negative 4. Here, my velocity is now a straight line that's going from positive 2 to negative 4. This function right here is telling me how the position function is changing. It's important to know both the fundamental definition of how you get the velocity function from the position function by taking the derivative, but then how that relates to the uh, graphical representations of these functions. This is telling me that the slope of the tangent line is positive at the t is equal to 0, which is consistent with what I know, and it's 0 at t is equal to 1, and so it's at it's a negative 2 slope at t is equal to 2, has a negative 4 slope at t is equal to 3. So the qualitative understanding of the tangent line by, by looking at the position graph is uh, consistent with what I calculated by looking at the graphical representation of the velocity as a function of time.